Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to create and how to manage Facebook advertising. So when it comes to Facebook ads, they are so much better than say maybe Google ads because within Facebook, you can target down to, to such a fine-tuned audience that it really helps you when you're trying to uh, sell an item or promote your website or get people to watch your videos. Whatever the situation may be, Facebook allows you to pinpoint target a select audience that is really beneficial for people who are trying to promote something online. So Facebook is a great tool to use and this video will show you how to create and manage your ads. So the first thing you need to do is you need to know how to go to where you can set up the advertisement. So in order to do that, when you're logged into Facebook under the account that you want to use, now if your Facebook page is under your personal account, make sure you're logged into your personal account. So the next thing you want to do is go up to the little drop down arrow in the right hand top side corner of the screen and then go down to where you see create ads. So we're going to go ahead and go to the create ads page here. It'll load up and then it'll have a few different options available to you here. As you can see, it's going to provide you with the different types of ads you can do. I'm going to run over those briefly. Uh, the first one is boost your post. So you make a post on your page, you run the advertisement, it'll show that post to the target audience that you've selected. Uh, next one is promote your page. Basically, this is just getting people to like your page. So if you're trying to build up some likes, this is a great way to do that to put your page in front of people who may like your content. Send people to your website, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, allow uh, a link to go directly to your website. Uh, increase conversion on your website website. Uh, basically, you can use the website conversion objective uh, to promote conversions on your website. Uh, you can do all of this within Instagram as well now. Uh, it's not as prevalent yet because it just now started, but you can do all of this within Instagram. Uh, get installs of your app. So if you've created an app on Android or iOS or Windows, whatever, uh, you can have people link to your app download page there. Uh, increase engagement in your app. So basically, uh, if someone already has your app, you can say, hey, play my app or even download my app. Just another way of doing it. Uh, uh, reach people near your business. This is for local uh, brick and mortar businesses here. Uh, so basically with this one here, uh, you can target people near your brick and mortar business. Uh, raise attendance at your event. If you have an event or you have a webinar, uh, you can have a sign up page uh, as an advertisement as well. Uh, get people to claim your offer, pretty self-explanatory. And then get video views, which is what I've used before, uh, is you can upload a video uh, natively to Facebook and then advertise that on the sidebar or in the newsfeed and uh, boom, you can get more views. Uh, I'm not sure how effective that was actually, uh, but I have used it before. So let's go ahead and create an advertisement. So let's say we want to boost a post. So click on the boost your post. Now you can choose any of these. They'll all work the same and then go to boost your post. And then right here, you're going to need to select the page that you want to boost the post from. So if you have multiple pages here, like I do, you want to select the one like I'm doing here, tech guru, which is my, uh, my page here. And then you want to go ahead and select that post. So you're going to be able to scroll down and look at all all of the different posts that you have posted. Now, I will say this. You need to make sure that there is way more picture in your featured picture for the advertisement than there are text. There is a tool that you can use, uh, and I will link to it down below. I'm not going to show it here on the video that will make sure that you don't have too much text on your image because Facebook does not like that. They want more image uh, in the image uh, as opposed to text. It's just a rule. They And you could even get your account banned and suspended. So make sure that you do not have a whole bunch of text on your little thumbnail image there for your advertisement. So once you've selected the post here like I have that you want to advertise, you can even hit this here and create a new post within this here uh, and schedule it. And you can even create what they call a dark post, uh, which will allow you to do some kind of testing, but I'm not going to get into that now. So once you've hit the drop down menu there, you select the post you want to advertise. Uh, and then what you're going to do is click on continue the blue continue button there. The next thing you're going to want to see here is basically you're going to be able to create the audience that you want to target. This is where the power of Facebook advertisement comes into play. Uh, under the step two here, it says, what do you want your ads to reach? Or who do you want your ads to reach? I'm sorry. Uh, so basically here, we're going to be able to pinpoint down to location. Not only can you do uh, the United States, but you can actually type in, say, a zip code like here, Lula, Georgia, whatever it is, and click on that zip code there. And then basically you're pinpointing 
to that specific location. But we're going to go ahead and X out of that, and we're just going to type in United States. So if you only want your ad to run for people that are in the United States or United Kingdom or India, whatever it may be, type in that specific country or address, whatever, you can pinpoint down to the nearest zip code. It's crazy. Next, you have age. So who do you want to advertise to? Now, I will give a little pro tip here. Um, normally, you don't want to advertise to 13 to 17, 18, 19 year olds. Number one, they don't have a lot of money. Okay, if you're trying to have conversions or video, you know, depending on what you're trying to advertise, you may want to advertise to these younger age groups. But if you're trying to sell something or convert something on your website, I would go upwards, you know, mid, mid 20s, uh, start, start around there all the way up to 65 plus because... Those people have more money, and believe it or not, the younger people are not really on Facebook anymore. Uh, but that's okay, because the people that spend money are. So remember that as a pro tip. Now, obviously, if you're selling something that people that are of the age 50 and above can't use because physically they're probably not going to be able to do it, you can decrease that age here as well. Now, the gender is great. So if you're selling women's clothing or men's clothing or it's only a you know, jewelry store, whatever it is, you can select whether you want to advertise to men, women, or both genders. Uh, languages. So if your product has a language barrier, you can select and enter a language here. Uh, more demographics, if you select that there, you can even it's crazy, guys. Uh, you can even uh, select like relationship status, interested in relationship status. So basically, if you're selling like something that would help people get uh, a relationship, you probably want to target people who are not in a relationship. Education, work, financial, um, generation, parents, politics. I mean, it's amazing how crazy you can narrow it down and create your own audience. Now, over on the right as you're doing this, you're going to see your audience details. It's showing you with the audience options that I have selected, my potential reach is 153 million people. That's right, million. So you want that little arrow here to be kind of in the middle. You don't want it to be very broad, and you don't want it to be so specific where it's in the red. So if you're anywhere in this green here, that normally means you're good to go. Uh, interest here, you can search interest. Uh, you know, I'm not going to really get into that, uh, but fitness and wellness people here, business and industry people here, so you kind of know what you can do there. Uh, behaviors, if you click here, uh, if they've had behaviors of watching videos of these specific things or liking pages related to this, uh, you know, if it's an automotive or you're trying to sell a car, whatever it may be, uh, you can go through here and adjust it based on behavior. Uh, under more categories here, uh, basically this is just like allowing you to break it down even more to like Generation X, Millennials, uh, things such as that. Uh, connections, you can add a connection type. So if they have Facebook pages, so people who like my page, advertise only to them. Uh, friends of people who like your page, that gets even more crazy. And then exclude people who like your page because those people already like your page. So you can do all of that there under connections. There's much more you can get into there as well. And then the fun part here is this. How much do you want to spend? Okay. Daily budget. Okay. Normally starting out, I'm running some ads now. So my daily budget is a little bit increased, but when you're starting out, your daily budget will be $5. As you run more ads, that will increase. Okay. So you can select a daily budget or a lifetime budget. So if we select a daily budget, and then run my ad continuously starting today. It does not have an end date. Remember that. If you start your ad and you do not set a start and an end date, it will run continuously. You will continually be billed until you end or pause that ad unit. Okay? So make sure you understand that. Normally what I do is I go either to a daily budget of whatever I want to set it to or go to lifetime budget and then click a start and end date. So I want to start it today, uh, December 3rd, 2015, and end it in a month on January 3rd, 2016. You can even pinpoint it down to the exact timestamp. It'll tell you if it runs every ad and you reach your limit of $350 lifetime budget, you'll spend up to that full amount there. But as you can see here, I can go here and adjust that if I want to. This number below is going to be the minimum. That's the minimum you can spend running this type of advertisement. But if we go here and change the end date uh, to say maybe next Saturday, that's going to change it obviously and you can still spend that $350. Now, on the right, once you're over here by how much do you want to spend, you're going to see the estimated daily reach. So this is only an estimate. They're estimating my advertisement will reach 7,700 to 20,000 people on Facebook each and every day. Uh, and then down below, there's going to be a little box that says optimization and bidding have changed. Uh, basically, you don't have to really read any of that. Uh, optimization for ad delivery. Now, this is very important. 
this is going to be dependent on what you want and what type of ad you're running. Do you want post engagement? Do you want just impressions? Do you want to have a huge number of daily unique reaches, which is people who are flipping through their timeline and seeing your ad but not clicking or liking or sharing it? Normally, I go with post engagement. Here's the reason why. Post engagement tells me that I'm going to be paying more for like the likes, comments, and shares, but that's what I want when it comes to my ad. Now, if all you want are impressions, then boom, go here. Impressions just means people are going to see it. I want people who are actually engaging in my advertisement. That's the reason why I'm paying money to even run it in the first place. Now, here's the next thing. When you get charged on impression or post engagement, I normally select post engagement because I don't want to get billed every time someone sees my ad. I want to get billed when someone is engaging with my ad. Now, I may not sell something every time they do, but there's more of a likelihood that I will sell something or convert when I have an engagement. And then ad scheduling, you can say run ads all the time or you can run ads on a schedule. So, so you can run ads only during the workday. You can run ads after people get off work by selecting little uh, bricks here. Uh, it'll allow you to say on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm running an ad from 3 to say 6, 7, or 8, or 9 p.m. So you can choose the schedule you want your ads to run on or run those ads all the time. Uh, I found it be more beneficial if I just run the ads all the time. People are on Facebook at all times and if you're on your mobile device or your computer, you're going to be buying or converting stuff. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. Delivery type is the uh, next to last thing here. Uh, so basically it says uh, show your ads throughout the day or accelerated. Show your ads quickly as possible. You don't want to you don't want to blow it all at once, right? You want it to be standard, which means show your ads throughout the day, kind of a slow drip. Uh, you don't want them to go crazy and explode and just show your ads all in like one hour, okay? I just found standard to be more uh, of a, a better thing here. Now, the next thing you can do is give your ad set a name. So this is going to add uh, a name to the set. So say ad name goes here, number one. Now, you can obviously uh, name the set of ads anything you want. And I would normally test out a few ads uh, and then see which one works best. And then if we go down below, we're going to see see uh, under step three, create your ad. Now, uh, your ad will boost this page post. You can preview your ad on the right. Now, on the right, it's going to show you what it looks like. Now, remember, this image in this ad, make sure that you have way more image than text because they will take your ad down, possibly even suspend or ban your account. Uh, so over on the right, we can view what it looks like on a desktop. We can view what it looks like on a mobile phone, and we can view what it looks like in the right-hand column on the desktop. Now, we can remove any of these if we don't want to advertise on any of those. Now, the mobile ad Ads are always so beneficial because people are on their phone, iPads, uh, Android tablets, whatever it may be. Uh, URL tags, don't really worry about any of that. There's really no need to do that there. And then once you're done with all of that good stuff, you can review your order or place your order down in the right-hand column here. I would go to review order. Make sure you know what you're going to be paying. Make sure you know the age you're, you're targeting, the location, all of that. And then hit the blue button of place order. Or you can go back and edit the order if you see something that you messed up on. Now, I'm not going to place this ad this was just for the tutorial but I am going to show you how to begin to manage your ads and then we're going to finish the video up in order to manage your ads go up to that right hand corner drop down arrow go down to where you see manage ads right under create ads just like that there uh, it says it changes I'm not worried about that I'm gonna continue here uh, and then underneath there this is going to be your ads manager okay here's all the ads the campaigns that you have going uh, if it's over on the right hand side and it's blue that means the ad is active you can see by the green dot here on the upper uh, center of the screen, you're going to be able to see how much you spent today, how much you spent yesterday, and throughout the week, okay? Uh, and then you can even pause ad campaigns by just go ahead, going and selecting that little arrow there and making it inactive. So if I do that, boom, it is now inactive, and you can see that under delivery. Uh, under results, you're going to see how many engagements that that ad has. Under reach, that shows you how many people it was put in front of. Uh, under the cost, basically that's telling you how much average it's costing you per post engagement or impression, depending on how uh, you set it up. And then under amount spent, that's showing you on that specific campaign, here is how much you spent. Uh, under the ends column, this is showing you the end date of that specific advertisement. And then down below, you're going to see totals of amount spent and total of people reached there. And that's with the, the campaigns that you have available here. Now, if I want to pause a campaign, like I said, you just check or uncheck over here, and it'll tell you under delivery whether it's active or 
inactive. Now, you can go up here, sort by last 30 days, sort by today, lifetime, yesterday, do all of that good stuff there. And then under account settings here, this is where you're going to go uh, and add your PayPal account to pay for these ads, okay? So if we go up here, go to account settings, uh, sorry, go to account settings or billing, that's where you're going to want to add your PayPal or credit card to pay for these guys here. I'll do a separate tutorial on the Power Editor. This is where you can set up dark post and uh, do like split testing with your ads and things like that, uh, but we're not going to get into that now. Hopefully, this video has helped you out. If it has, don't forget to help me out by liking this video, sharing it with your friends or family. I have links down below. Uh, you can shop on Amazon with my link. It does help me out. If you're shopping anyways, it helps me out. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.